So when hip hop started, it's Latino and black, half and half. That is a blatant lie, and he knows it's a lie. Fat Joe received a lot of backlash for saying that blacks and Hispanics created hip hop half and half. However, he stood firm and insisted that this was factual. And Fat Joe is as black as anybody you can name in the universe. And I'm telling you, it was Puerto Rican and black. There are many people who agree with Fat Joe, most notably the famous director Spike Lee. Spike Lee went on Instagram Live with Fat Joe to say this. Elaborate on that, Spike, because they, they think I'm crazy sometimes. Three of us in New York, in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, and Queens, Manhattan, we grew up together. People understand this. Hip-hop was created by Puerto Rican brothers and sisters, black brothers and sisters in the Bronx. Even though he said this, Many people still disagree. Fat Joe, my nigga, Joseph Carter Gina. I don't know whether he was on something, I don't care. Puerto Ricans did not help black people create hip hop. They're, they're taking rap music and making it this all lives matter movie. But let's not mistake it, you know, this is this is a little thing that our culture of people created and they kind of are, you know, they visitors. You know what I mean? People argued that they weren't the originators, but they were visitors. Fat Joe did not accept this. Latinos wasn't there, you was invited, you are a, a specimen. You, I don't know, what the is up with these people? They don't know their facts. Yet, people kept pushing back. And everybody who promotes that know it's a lie, because when you start asking for receipts, nobody has receipts for it. A Puerto Rico, ho! A Puerto Rico, ho! My only thing I'd say to Fat Joe, if that's in fact true, because I almost can guarantee you, yes, there were Latinos out there, and I'm sure some of them were busting rhymes, but you gotta prove it. Who were they? Mm -hmm. Well, the receipts are in. Nineteen seventy one. Before DJ Cool Herc, before Africa Bambada, was the forgotten founding father of hip hop, the disco king Mario. DJ Mario started hip hop in its earliest form, which was in the street jams. There are many eyewitnesses that confirm he was the actual first person to start hip hop. This is the first time that I get a chance to actually speak upon you. With the, with the utmost respect that you deserve in our culture of hip hop. Sometimes Mario just doesn't get all the credit he should. Right. Then hip hop hit the hit the nation. Okay. Mario just blew up. He started bringing his tables out into the park right here at Watson Park. He started bringing his tables in the Sound Music Center. Uh -huh. He was just doing this thing all out. Way before so, Bambada. So way, way before Bambada. Bambada. What? Bam, Bambada. We all got that from Mario. Mario was the first one to start hip hop in the neighborhood. To me, you are one of the four founders of our culture. To learn more about Mario, check out the documentary, True First. Now that we established who DJ Mario was, there was also another early pioneer who DJed with him. His name was Tex DJ Hollywood. Why is this important? Because Tex DJ Hollywood was Puerto Rican. Listen to the testimonies of the eyewitnesses. You know, you had a cross town where Herc was at. We had on this side Mario, Tex, you know, Bam. And you know, he started. He was, was doing Mario he at the that words. time. It was Mario, Tex, and Spanky. Right. Tex, Tex, Tex. 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 Right. That's right. Hollywood. Yep, Tex. Jay Hollywood. Tex was another one that used to be out here giving joints in the park. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go King Mario, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Park Road, Dale Park, man. Tex DJD, man. Hollywood, right. shout it out, man. Right. You know what I mean, Tex, I remember yesterday. Right. Let's go King Mario and Tex. Okay. And I loved 123. Of course. It was different from up there. Remember Tex DJ? Tex, I remember Tex, Tex was out there. Absolutely. A little bit, yeah. Of course I do. Like, you know, did you know he was Puerto Rican? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. did know? Yeah, dark skin Puerto Rican. Yeah, he was yeah. Puerto Rican. Right. Mario's one of the first I really could say Tex was out there. DJ Tex was Puerto Rican. However, many people couldn't tell by looking at him. They thought he was an African-American. Boss Fat Joe comment about 
Puerto Ricans and African Americans. We did have text DJ Hollywood down with Mary. And, and, and now, Tex will tell you himself. Okay. Nobody knew Tex was Puerto Rican. He was rocking the afro back. He was rocking, he was dressing like us. Right. Did everything like us. Now look at this image of DJ Tex after he cut his afro and his beard while he's in his older age. Tex DJ Hollywood, and I'm here with the first man to put together a scratch record, and I'm here with DJ Ku Clyde. What worldwide baby <laughs> Now he looks Latino. There are many black rappers that have Hispanic heritage, but many people can't tell just by looking at them. For example, Fabulous. Fabulous is Dominican. DMC. DMC is Dominican. Nori. Nori's father is Puerto Rican. A lot of people were saying that Puerto Ricans were not involved in the foundation of hip hop. G give, me a, give me a Puerto Rican that, that created the hip hop back in the days with the disco King Mario. Not realizing that one of the founding fathers or early pioneers was actually Puerto Rican. But that would make Tex the first Puerto Hispanic, Rican Hispanic. DJ yeah, in yeah, history, on, right? On, hip hop. He, he would definitely be a forerunner a four right. of that, absolutely. This does not mean that hip hop descends from Puerto Rican music or culture. That's not saying hip hop comes from Puerto Rico. All Fat Joe said was blacks and Hispanics created hip hop half and half. Now listen to this testimony. You asked me how I got introduced to the music aspect of it. Coming to one time. Mm, okay, because Mario and Tex right. they play, right? And Jim had a divider. Right. And one DJ Tex was on one side. Mm -hmm. Mario was on the other side. Okay. Right? And it's like two parties going on at one time. Mm. If they both DJ together during the same time, in the same place, at the same event, is that not a legitimate argument for 50-50 or half and half? Whether you believe it's 50-50, 60-40, or whatever ratio, Spike Lee said it best. Let's let Spike Lee conclude this video. Black people and Puerto Ricans created one of the great art forms ever. Together. That's a fact. I'm the motherfucking disputed. Black and Puerto Rican curated hip hop. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. This is the King Lemuel Podcast. Peace.